Today's lesson is about solving trig equations. This time, you can use calculator. It's calculator based. Let's go over the steps for solving trig equations. First of all, you decide the pattern and the change the trig equation into single trig equals constant form. Then get the reference angle. Since this is a calculator based, use this one to figure out the two solutions. Then find the period sine and a cosine that's a 2 pi over b for tangent period equals pi over b. Then you can get the general form so that you will figure out the solutions in specific domain like from 0 to 12 or from negative 2 pi to 2 pi and so on. Part 1. Solve for x on the domain from 0 to 12. This is a linear pattern. You need to isolate the trick on one side. It's already done. So we can go to reference angle. Since the reference angle is between 0 to pi over 2, so what you put into your calculator, make sure this is a put in positive. That's your reference angle. You got 0 0.620. Since for cosine this uh, less than 0, we go to quadrant second and a third. This diagram is a very, very important. How to remember? This is a pi. Here's a 2 pi. So 2 pi minus reference angle go to the fourth quadrant. This is a pi. Pi minus your reference angle go to the second quadrant. And pi plus reference angle go to the third quadrant. That's why I will do pi minus 0 0.620. And also pi plus 0 0.620. I use graphing calculator to make more accurate pi minus the reference angle and a pi plus reference angle. So you got this is your x1, here's x2. We write down x1 equals 2.522. x2 equals 3.761. We know the period equals 2 pi over b. The number beside the x is 1, so that's a 2 pi. So for general form, you will get 2.522 plus 2 pi times n. Then I have 3.761 plus 2 pi times n, and uh, n is uh, integers. Now I need to put this uh, two general form into y equals. Make sure the variable we put the uh, 2 pi times x, 2 pi x. Now I do second graph, go to the table. Make sure your y value will be between 0 to 12, because that's our domain. So we got uh, these two, and also these two. Therefore, solution to B, that is x equals 2.522, 8.8052, 3.761, and 10.044. This will be the solution to B. Now let's go to part 2. Solve for x on the domain between negative 5 to 5. First of all, we know this is a linear pattern. That's why you isolate the cosine on one side. 
I move four to the right side plus four. Then we divide it by five. That's how you get the four over five. Reference angle equals. By calculator, we got reference angle that's zero point six four four. Since for this cosine is a positive, that means we go to first and then the second quadrant. For first quadrant, that's definitely it just zero point six four four. For fourth quadrant angle. Using two pi minus zero point six four four, we got the solution. That's a five point six four zero. So you will write down x one equals zero point six four four, and x two equals five point six four zero. Now for period, that is、uh, two pi over b. That's two pi. Therefore, for general form, you will get zero point six four four plus two pi times n, and five point six four zero plus two pi times n. And we know n is the integers, so we put these two into the graphing calculator. Go to y equals. Remember, for n, when you put into calculator, change into x. Then check the table. Need a value between negative five to five. So we got this is the solution, and also this one is the solution. Other solution is、uh, not in this domain. Therefore, you will write down x equals zero point six four four and also negative zero point six four three. Let's go to B. For B, is still linear pattern, so we isolate the. Tangent x on one side, you minus thirteen. So you got the two tangent x equals negative thirteen divided by two. You got the tangent x equals negative thirteen over two. So we got the reference angle. That is the inverse tangent of a positive thirteen over two. Remember, you have to put the positive so that you can get the reference angle. Before you working on the calculator, make sure the mode is on the radian form. So we got the reference angle by this、uh, calculator. That's one point four one eight. Since the、uh, tangent x equals negative thirteen over two, that's negative. Which means、uh, go to the second and then the fourth quadrant. Therefore, we do pi minus one point four one eight. Two pi minus one point four one eight. Using graphing calculator, we got the x one equals one point seven two three. And x two equals four point eight six five. We know period for tangent that's a pi. Therefore, for general form, you will get one point seven two three plus pi times n, and also four point eight six five plus pi. Times n, n is the integers. Then you need to put these two into y equals in the graphing calculator. That's like、uh, this. We go to table, check which 
solution between negative five to five. You need to be careful. You could see the same solution. We don't want to repeat the solution. So, like this one, you already got over here. One point seven two three four. We already got here. Four point eight six five. We already got over here. Therefore, we got the four solutions. X equals negative four point five six, negative one point four one nine, one point seven two three, four point eight four five. Let's go to part three. Solve for x on the specific domain. Cosine x minus two point four equals negative zero point zero six zero one four. We're looking for the solution between zero to two pi. First of all, isolate the cosine on one side. It's already done. We got the single trig equals a constant number, so we go to reference angle equals the inverse cosine. Remember when you do the reference angle, you have to use、uh, this positive zero point zero six zero one four. We put into calculator, you will get one point five one one. Since for this cosine that's a negative, means the angle will be on the second and then the third quadrant. This is a pi, so second quadrant will be pi minus one point five one one, and then the third quadrant is a pi plus one point five one one. We put into calculator. Look at this. This two, you will get one point six three one, and this one you got the four point six five two. What's the angle for cosine? That's a、uh, x minus two point four. That means x minus two point four go to these two angle. So we have to set up equation x minus two point four equals one point six three one, and also x minus two point four equals four point six five two. So we need to add two point four to get the x. When we use calculator, you will get the x equals. We add two point four for these two angles. You will get four point zero three one. And also for this side, x equals seven point zero five two. Let's check period two pi over b. B is one. That's a two pi. So we go to general form. That is a four point zero three one plus two pi times n. Also, we got the seven point zero five two plus two pi times n. N is the integers. Then we need to put this into the graphing calculator. Y equals. Now we put into calculator. Remember, for n you have to change into x like this. Then we check the table. We are looking for the. Solution between zero to two pi. This will be the solution. This will be a solution. So we write down x equals four point zero three one, and also zero point seven six nine. That's the solution. Let's go to part four. Solve for x on the domain between zero to two pi. First of all, you need to isolate this、uh, cosine on one side. Therefore, you need to 
minus zero point five one three. Then divided by four, so you got the four cosine three x. I don't want to work this out. I want calculator to do that for me. That's the reason. I just copy it down, and then over four, you will get the cosine three x equals. How you put this into calculator using Alpha y equals check uh, n over d form so that you can put into a calculator like this uh, get the answer directly zero point seven four eight. Then we go to reference angle. You will get inverse uh, cosine zero point seven four eight. That equals one point four nine six. Since for this cosine function is a positive, that's why we go to first and then the fourth quadrant. First quadrant angle will be reference angle one point four nine six. For fourth quadrant, this is two pi, so two pi. Minus one point four nine six. Go to calculator. You will get four point seven eight seven. What's the angle for this cosine? Three x. So three x equals to this and uh, equals to this number. Therefore, we set up three x equals. Uh, one point four nine six, and also three x equals four point seven eight seven. Then both sides we divided by three. We use a graphing calculator. You will get uh, these two solution. That is uh, x equals zero point four. Nine nine, or x two. Let's label as x one, x two equals one point five nine six. We will working on that uh, period. That's two pi over b. B this time is a uh, three, so we got the two pi over three. Therefore, for general form. You will get zero point four nine nine plus two pi n over three, or one point five nine six plus two pi times n over three. N is a integers, and you need to put these two general form into Graphing calculator go to y equals. When you put into y equals, make sure you change that n into x. Then we check the table. Make sure the domain is between zero to two pi. That means uh, between zero to six point twenty eight something. Okay, so from this table, you will get.、Uh, Zero point four nine nine, two point five, four point six, four point seven is out of this domain, so you get the one point five something, three point six, five point seven. So we are supposed to get the six solutions. X equals zero point four nine nine, two point five nine three. Four point six eight eight, one point five nine six, three point six nine zero, and a five point seven eight five. This will be the solution to this equation.